Good morning. Welcome back to our Chronological Bible Reading. I'm Ray Reynolds, the minister of the Seminole Church Christ. We're in the book of Proverbs today, chapter 22 to be exact. I hope that you'll open up your Bible and read along with us. I uh, always want to encourage you to get a notepad or bring a highlighter or a pen so that you can mark places. You can go back and read and memorize all these great thoughts from the Word of God. Proverbs 22. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on or punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor in life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the perverse. He who guards his soul will be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He who sows iniquity will reap sorrow, and the rod of his anger will fail. He who has generous eye will be blessed, for he gives to, of his bread to the poor. Cast off the scoffer and contention will leave, yet strife and reproach will cease. He who loves purity of heart and has grace on his lips, the king will be his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the faithless. The lazy man says, there is a lion outside. It shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of an immoral woman is like a deep pit. He who is abhorred by the Lord will fall there. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of correction will drive it far from him. He who oppresses the poor increase in riches, and he who gives the rich will surely come to poverty. Incline your ear and hear the words of the wise and apply your heart to my knowledge, for it's a pleasant thing if you keep them within you. Let them be fixed upon your lips so that your trust may be in the Lord. I've instructed you today, even you, have I not written you uh, excellent things of counsels and knowledge that I may make known to you certainty of the words of truth, that you may answer words of truth to those who send to you? Do not rob the poor because he is poor, nor oppress the afflicted at the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause and plunder the soul of those who plunder them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with the furious man do not go, lest you learn his ways and set a snare for your soul. Do not be one who shakes heads and hands in pledge, one who is surety for debts, if you have nothing to do with what's paid. Why should he take away your bed from under you? Do not remove the ancient landmark which your fathers have set. Do you see a man who excels in his work? He'll stand before kings. He will not stand before unknown men. Chapter 23. When you sit down to eat with a ruler, consider carefully what is before you and put a knife to your throat, if you're a man who give given to appetite. Do not let desire his delicacies, for they are deceptive food. Do not overwork to be rich, because of your own understanding, cease. Will you set your eye on that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away like an eagle toward heaven. Do not eat the bread of a miser, nor desire his delicacies, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. The morsel you've eaten, you'll vomit up and waste your pleasant words. Do not speak in the hearing of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of your words. Do not remove the ancient landmark, nor enter fields of the fatherless, for their Redeemer is mighty, and he will plead their cause against you. Apply your heart to instruction, and your ears to words of knowledge. Do not withhold correction from a child, for if you beat him with a rod, he will not die. You shall beat him with a rod, and his soul deliver his soul from hell. My son, if your heart is wise, my heart will rejoice. Indeed, I myself, yes, in my own my, my inmost being will rejoice when your lips speak right things. Do not let your heart envy sinners, be, but be zealous for the fear of the Lord all the day. For surely there is hereafter, and your hope will not be cut off. Hear, my son, and be wise, and guide your heart in the way. Do not mix with wine bibbers or with gluttonous eaters of meat, for the drunkard and the glutton will come to poverty, and the drowsiness will clothe a man with rags. Listen to your father who begot you, and do not despise your mother when she is old by the truth, and do not sell it, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous will greatly rejoice, and he who begets a wise child will delight in him. Let your father and your mother be glad, and let her who bore you rejoice. My son, give me your heart, and let your eyes observe my ways. For a harlot is a deep pit, and a seductress is a narrow well. 
She also lies in wait for a victim and increases the unfaithful among men. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has contentions? Who has complaints? Who has wounds without cause? Who has redness of the eyes? Those who linger long at the wine. Those who go in search of mixed wine. Do not look on the wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it swirls around smoothly. And at last it bites like a serpent and stings like a viper. Your eyes will see strange things. Your heart will utter perverse things. Yes, you'll be like one who lies down in the midst of the sea or like one who lies at the top of the mast saying, they've struck me, but I was not hurt. They've beaten me, but I did not feel it. When, I, when shall I awake that I may seek another drink? Chapter 24. Do not be envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them, for their heart devises violence, and their lips talk of troublemaking. Through wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established, by knowledge the rooms are filled with the precious and pleasant things. A wise man is strong, yes, a man of knowledge increases strength. For by wise counsel you will wage your own way, and in a multitude of counselors there is safety. Wisdom is too lofty for a fool, and he does not open his mouth in the gate. He who plots to do evil will be called a schemer. The devising of foolishness is sin, and the scoffer is an abomination to men. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Deliver those who are driven toward death, and hold back the stumbling from to the slaughter. If you say, surely we didn't know this, does not he who weighs the hearts consider it? He who keeps the soul, does he not know it? And he will not render to each man according to his deeds. My son, eat honey because it's good, and the honeycomb, which is sweet to your taste, so shall knowledge and wisdom be to your soul. Uh, if you have found it, there is a prospect, and your hope will not be cut off. Do not lie in wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Do not plunder his resting place. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, and the wicked shall fall by calamity. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls, and do not let your heart be glad when he stumbles, lest the Lord see it and displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the wicked, for there will be no prospect for the evil man. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. My son, fear the Lord and the king. Do not associate with those who are given to change, for their calamity will rise suddenly, and he and who knows the ruin those two can bring. These things also belong to the wise. It's not good to show partiality in judgment. He who says to the wicked, you're righteous, him the people will curse, nations will abhor him, but those who rebuke the wicked will have delight, and a good blessing will come upon them. He who gives a right answer kisses the lips. Prepare your outside work, make it fit for yourself in the field, and afterward build your house. Do not be a witness against your neighbor without cause, for uh, would you deceive with your lips? Do not say, I will go to him just as he's done to me. I will render the man according to his work. I went by the field of a lazy man and by the vineyard of a man devoid of understanding. And there it was, all overgrown with thorns. Its surface was covered with nestles. Its stone was broken, wall was broken down. And when I saw it, I considered it well. I looked on it, received instruction, a little slumber, a little sleep, a little folding of the hands to rest. So shall poverty come to the prowler and your need like an armed man. Chapter 25. These are also Proverbs of Solomon, which men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings to search out a matter. As the heavens for height and the earth is for depth, so the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from silver, and it will go to the silversmith for jewelry. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne will be established in righteousness. Do not exalt yourself in the presence of the king, and do not stand in the place of the great. For it's better that he say to you, come up here, than that you should be put lower in the presence of the prince whom your eyes have seen. Do not go hastily to court, for what will you do in the end when your neighbor has put you to shame? Debate your case with your neighbor, and do not disclose the secret to another. Lest he who hears it expose your shame, and your reproach be ruined. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and settings of silver, like an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold. It's wise rebukes to an open ear, obedient ear. Like the cold of snow in time of harvest, it is faithful messenger to them, to those who send him, for he refreshes the soul of his masters. Whoever falsely boasts of giving is like clouds and wind without rain. 
by long forbearance, a ruler is persuaded and a gentle tongue breaks a bone. Have you found honey? Eat only as much as you need, lest you be filled with it and vomit. Seldom set your foot at your neighbor's house, lest he become weary of you and hate you. A man who bears false witness against his neighbor is like a club, a sword, or a sharp arrow. Confidence is an unfaithful man in time of trouble. It's like a bad tooth and a foot at a joint. Like one who takes away a garment in cold weather, like a vinegar on so soda, is one who sings songs to a heavy heart. If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. If he's thirsty, give him water to drink. For you will heap coals of fire on his head, and the Lord will reward you. The north wind brings forth rain, and the backbiting tongue an angry countenance. It's better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a contentious woman. As cold water to a weary soul, so good news from a far country. A righteous man who falters before the wicked is like murky spring with a polluted well. It is not good to eat much honey. To seek one's own glory is not glory. Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. We're so glad you joined us today in our time of reading God's word. And we hope you will join us again tomorrow as we keep reading here in the book of Proverbs. Until next time, have a blessed day.